Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome to episode 63 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play series, where today, notice something interesting here. Look at how much power we are using. 30,000 RF a tick, and we are inputting 63,000. Good thing we got that reactor up, huh? So, did a little bit of research and checked things out and all that good jazz. And it turns out that our ether gas generator, um, where is my shrinking tool? Each one of these guys uses about a thousand RF tick. Yeah. Um, yeah, look right there, a thousand RF per usage. So we have a total of 36. So with this, we have 36,000 RF being used to generate the ether gas. So half of our power is being used to make ether gas for this guy who is literally just running. What else does ether gas do? Like, what can we do with you? Uh, my cellular reactor, supreme machine frames, your coolant for power. Uh, that's that's about the extent. Pneumaticraft, it's also a coolant. So yeah, we need to figure that out because well, so what I don't want to do is turn off the oh man. I don't want to turn this off because we need this guy to stay stasisted. What we could do is turn these off. We could set up XNet, and just like we have uh, for our mob spawner, we could set these up, and then I can set like a uh, item detector. So when we have, you know, 256 buckets of ether gas, these shut off, so they're not running. Um, can you can you do that? Do these have a uh, fluid mode? You. Ah, oh, you do have a fluid mode. That is a possibility. And then we could use XNet to route the power so that we're only generating this as we need it and we're not draining 36,000 RF at all times. I mean, not that it's that big a deal because we're, you know, we're making 64 and my plan on this episode is to upgrade our reactor. Um, but can't we get this? This only transmits 18,000 RF a tick. So where is actually all our power going? this thing can only do 18,000. So these things aren't even running well cuz the, the the pipes are filling up, but um Yeah, so do we want to do that? Man, let me have to set all of these to redstone mode. Then I got to get next net and then I got to set up a lever that controls all of it and oh man. <laughs> oh, I have my death in the other remove that that was embarrassing um let's work on upgrading our power first and then we'll uh we'll see how we end up i mean thirty six thousand in the grand scheme of things once we get up into the millions of rf production isn't really that much so it's a trade-off um but we should start getting now if we look in our inventory nether stars look at that we got 47 nether stars already uh I may actually want to tell that thing to shut off when we get to so many nether stars, but that kind of ruins my timer system up there. I'd have to do something to stop that timer from working. Um, nah, not right now. Anyway, uh, we have nether stars. And remember what I wanted nether stars for in the first place. Flux networks. We're going to get into a flux network because I already created the flux cores and the flux dust. I remember when I created these, I didn't have any ender pearls, but I sacrificed the ender pearls I had to get into this and then was extremely depressed that I couldn't do this. But I can now. That's for sure. Um, so we need a player transmitter, which we have upstairs. You need a player transmitter of the nitro tier to get the controller. So we need to dive into the nitro tier of this, which is not hard. We can actually do it now because, again, it requires other stars. So let's do that first. That is going to be our first goal, our first setup, 
is how do we do this? What do we need for this? Nether stars, blocks of redstones, blocks of brazen crystals, and 20 million RF. That is a lot. So all of this makes 16 nitro crystals. And we need to put this down in the chest here. Now we need at least some missing block of blazing crystals. Um, so I need to teach it how to make this. Is there a cheaper recipe for this? Blaze mesh, which are just blaze rods. I think that ends up being the same thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just... Uh, it is one step cheaper. Yeah, let's reset this. Um, yeah, the blaze mesh ends up being at least uh, one step easier because it doesn't have to convert these and then craft them. It just goes straight into that. So let's do that. And then you're also going to need to know how to make that. I need another crafter. I said that earlier. Not you, uh, you. Did I put a gold crafter on this redstone furnace? Or is that, that's what an iron crafter's inventory is? Oh, okay. Uh, and then you can go back here and then you can say, okay, not neotic, nitro. Craft me 16 of those. So it's gonna pop Can I do that right? Where did I put those? That block of blazing crystal. You were there. Oh, and that would be why. You were supposed to go there. Okay, there it goes. So it's gonna do its thing here. Oh my goodness, this isn't that. The nitro takes 20 million RF. I'm gonna be here a while, aren't I? Uh, so we need to use you to upgrade to the, um, what are these things called? Energizing rods. We need more energizing rods. So you can transfer 3000 RF a tick, which is still not that much. I was expecting like, you know, oh my goodness, I just, Um, now, if I remember correctly, we can definitely do this, which speeds them up. If I wouldn't keep doing that, it works. This can't transfer power fast enough. This is going to be a disaster. Wow, that takes forever. And then these only go at 3,000 RF a tick, so they're not even faster. And then once one, once these run out, we're done. Wow, nitro takes a lot of power. And there we go. Look at that. Beep, beep, beep. They'll start building back up again. Eventually. Maybe. All right, well, we gotta let this thing run until we get there. So what's our next step? So we need to make these things. Um, so let's teach the system how to make all this stuff. So you need to know how to make nitro capacitors. Uh, while we're here, let's get a gold crafter going for downstairs, because we're gonna need it. Uh, so you need to know how to make the capacitors. Also, how to make the energy cables. Yes. I think that is a cheaper recipe. I don't remember how I did it with the others. Um, where do I have these? Yeah, with the crystals. I think I remember mathing this out previously and that is cheaper. Let's go downstairs and put this crafter down here so we have more room. You're still struggling. Oh, you finally finished. 
So if I go to Nitro and I pick that up, that'll complete the quest in the power section. Bam, bam. And what did we get? We got a energy cell of the Nitro tier. I don't want that in my inventory, please. Thank you. And absorbing all my power. So now we have Nitro Crystals. So if I want to upgrade one of these guys to Nitro, so usage of you is to upgrade you to Nitro, craft all the things, and you are now Nitro. Okay. Now, for that flux controller, what did I need? I need a player transmitter nitro, which requires a player transmitter spirited. Um, let's uh, do a, so I need that, I need that, which means I need that and that and that. And I have a basic one, right? Yeah. So let's get the this guy upgraded. So we need hardened. Craft all the stuff. That's you. And then blazing. And then neotic. Missing the neotic crystals. Did I not teach it how to make neotic crystals? Thought I did. Guess I didn't. You go there. And you. Oh, that was pretty quick. For those. Oh, so I just got to craft four of those, and that can only do one at a time, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. The nice thing with this player transmitter is, is we will no longer need, uh, well, we don't need the player transmitter anymore once we get the flux networks. Okay, so that should be all that stuff, yes. And then we need the spirited tier. Tell me I can do that. Tell me I didn't teach the system how to make these. And that is a standard craft. Did they make any of those? Doesn't look like it. Spirited and now nitro. Oh, it has to craft more. <laughs> We're going to be here forever for that. Okay, so that's going to do that thing, which is great. Um, basically, just need to kick off a bunch of these nitro crystals so that it can just make them so we have them on hand in between uh, all of this stuff. Now, you are an energy cell and you're an ender cell, but again, you're going to get replaced too. So, so yeah. I mean, to be honest, if it weren't for the fact that all my stuff is, or a lot of my stuff is using the flux points and flux plugs right now, uh, I could just get rid of you, period. But I need it for the moment at flux. So we're going to need flux points and flux plugs. Uh, flux plugs receives energy. So that's, you hook the flux plug up to your, um, your generator. And then the flux point provides energy to blocks. So basically what we're going to do is set up our um, cell or our uh, mechanism to be a flux plug that's going to add energy to our network. And then pretty much from there, we don't need it, need anything else. So this thing can be ixnayed. The only problem with ixnaying this is that this is powering. Uh, we could put a flux point here and because that's powering all of this stuff. Which, to be honest, this stuff isn't even used really anymore, but yeah. Yeah, actually, to be honest, it really isn't used, so 
We're just waiting for this guy. I will come back when this thing is done. Okay, and that is our player transmitter nitro. So we can now finally teach the system how to make flux blocks. Um, does the system know how to make flux cores? If I take all those out, no, but it's gonna need to. So you're gonna need to know how to make those. Luckily, you know how to make those ender cores. Um, and you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that. Y'all can go back in there and it's gonna craft our flux blocks if I were to press the button properly. And shabam, check it out. Flux controller. Yes. Um, so while we're here, flux controller, cause I'm a little ahead of myself, I do need to get one of those flux plugs set up. Uh, we're also gonna teach the system how to make that a flux plug and a flux point. And this is the expensive thing. This is what the whole point, this is where the whole gate is for this setup. Um, and we'll teach it that recipe. So, what in the tarnation scared me? Um, these flux points, it's one. Um, every time we craft, it's gonna be four, that's fine. It's not gonna need to craft those every time, so. Let's get a flux plug. Give me that. And a flux point. And we can see exactly how this works. Give me two of those, please. So there's our flux points and our flux plug. So let's go and see how this works. So what we're gonna do is pop down to our generator down here, and this may kill all of our power for a minute. It shouldn't, but it may. We're gonna pop over here to our induction casing. We're gonna say, hey, Mr. Spirited, you did really good, and I appreciate all of your efforts, but we don't need you anymore. So we're gonna take this guy out of here, and we're gonna put a flux plug here. And on this flux plug, we're gonna select the network, and it's gonna say, oh, we need a network. So what we're gonna do is set a generator's network. We can set it to public, it doesn't really matter. And so this is gonna be on our generator's network. We're gonna disable the limit, and what it's going to do is transfer RF into this. But at the moment, it doesn't have anywhere to go. So we can come up here and we can say, okay, look, this is pretty much drained. If I take a flux point and I say, okay, let me put it here. And this is just for example purposes, but I set this on the generators network and I disable the limit. It's not working. Do I have my points and my plugs? No, my, my, the plug is the one that you put. Let's put our controller up. You can be on the generators network. Let's see what's going on. I'm so excited to get this whole thing set up and it ain't working. What did I do wrong? Someone explain it to me. I don't want all those things on the generators network. They will be switched over to another network. Um, oh, you know what I did wrong? I know what I did wrong. You really should be here. Well, no. Provides energy to adjacent blocks. Receives energy from adjacent blocks, adding energy to your network. Yeah, it should be adding energy to my network, but it's not wanting to do it from here. So what if I instead got a universal cable? And then I added that to this. Are you working now? Sir, you're making me look like I just wasted all my time because you're not wanting to do what I want you to do. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Where is my thing? Uh, no, 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 yes. 
You are input, you are output. Yes, output power into my flux plug, please. I shouldn't have to extract, but. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. All right, this should be working. I've used this mod in the past. Am I doing something like absolutely incorrect? Because there should be no reason. Flux plug receives energy from blocks. Provides energy to adjacent blocks. Removing energy from your network. Yeah. This should be getting power. Limit is disabled. Surge mode. What if I get a... Where's that ender cell? Cell. This should pull power from that mechanism thing and put it into here. Look, it's working. So why isn't it going into there? I I don't I don't understand. Ah, that's why. If I put this there. Now it's filling back up. Well, there's your sign. And it's pulling out at 100,000 RF because this that's all this can take is 100,000 RF a tick. There's your sign. So that is where the issue lied. Um, technically, technically, um, the way that I have this set up is this should not be on the uh, generators network because it's technically not a generator and this is our battery usually usually i'll have like for example this neotic one i'll have a flux plug here and it will transfer energy to a flux point here on the generators network and then the output will be on my personal network which is what i'm going to switch this to so we're going to have the andrada's network here this guy's going to be set to my network and then anything that i want to power will be off of my network so i'm not pulling from my generator and I'm not pulling out of my um, induction case, or I mean, yeah, directly out of our things. So we need to switch this over to my personal network. And the same thing with our flux controller. will be set to my network. Wireless charging will be turned on for everything. Offhand, main hand, apply. I don't know why main inventory is always disabled. But you can see now it's doing stuff. Disable limit. So now it is charging. So this plug is inputting 7 million RF into our network. Because this thing has a buffer. Yeah. It's going into there. That's doing its thing. We have 100,000 going out into this guy. And this is why I like this, because we can see what is going on. You can't do that with this. If I go here, I don't know what's going where. Where's all my power going? Well, couldn't tell you. But here I can go to our network connections and I can see, okay, this is our flux plug. This is the flux plug on our uh, induction casing. Right? So that's our battery, big battery. So that's on our induction casing. This is on the ender cell in our base, right? And that's obviously our flux controller. So this is using 65,000 RF a tick, which is expected because it's running all of our base, essentially. Anything that is being used wireless power is running off our base. Now these things we can set up with flux plugs. So if I get some more flux plugs, we can start migrating our network from the these guys to now these guys. We're going to set this to the generators network because these are generators. They're pulling power out. And so now this guy is going to start receiving power from this. Same thing over here. We can set this to be on the generators network. And honestly, I could link these two together, but 
it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So these are going to receive energy from these guys and add it to our network as well. So we should see activity from those. Yes, no, maybe. Um, hang on, I'm confused. I don't have a uh, anything to monitor our generators. No, generators. I, I can make another one of those flux controllers so I can see, or I can just switch it around. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, you are set onto my network, correct? Yes, and you are inputting seven million RF a tick. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Output. Okay, something funky is going on. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nothing funky is going on. Uh, I just realized what was going on. Our, oh my goodness, that is intense. If you're gonna do this, disable disable charging. <laughs> Look at that, it just jumped up to, it's already at the legendary tier and it was pulling all of our RF into, oh my gosh, it just drained like 27 billion RF. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. That was a mistake. Because this, previously, this was only outputting like, or the player transmitter was only doing like 5,000 RF, so it really wasn't that big of a deal to just let it run all the time. This is kind of a big deal. So, just saying, be very careful. But all our stuff in our inventory is charging now. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, look at that, 46 and a half damage. That's pretty much, uh, flux networks. Now we could set up another controller. We can also set up a battery, um, so that we have like a, well, a battery set up on this. We can also change the network on this just to monitor the statistics to see, okay, what's going on. And then we can always switch back over to our network. Um, those flux plugs up here should be, because it is running. I always forget that I'm holding that thing and then I, well, do exactly what I just did. Yeah, these are pulling 250 RF a tick each and this should be, yeah. Around the generators network. Generators isn't being used by anything. That's my issue. So really what I should do, even though it is kind of a waste. Um, actually, no, it's not even a waste. What I can do is this. Because there's nowhere for the power to go, right? Because I don't have anything to put the generators into here. So what I can do is set this up here and put it on the generators network. And now we'll see, we're getting 12,000 RF from those two guys. And that's just gonna assist with setting this up here. Um, now, instead of putting that there, because it looks ugly, you can put it here, which is a little bit better. And then we need another flux plug. Just trying to remember where where do we have power being generated that we need flux plugs for. Um, Wind Mountain needs one, so we can get rid of this ender cell. And we can set this guy on the generators. And this is Wind Mountain. And he's out and putting 2400 RF a tick. Remember this? Remember when we had this set up and this was our power generator? Yeah. We have uh, definitely moved on from that. So eventually, like I said, we'll be able to replace this as we get rid of the things that are using those ender cells. Um, so like we need to switch over to flux points like in these two things and anywhere else that we are using a flux point to power something, uh, not a flux point, anywhere that we're using a um, ender cell to power something. The problem is, uh, don't remember where all those are and there's no easy peasy way to figure that out so the only thing I can really do is break things and like if I broke the cell I'd be able to find out like here's one so if I do a flux point on this 
And be honest, I should just craft a bunch of these. Um, but so if I change this guy to this guy on my network, and this could be our what is this? This is our lithium. That's lithium dust. So he's not running now because this is on because we have reached our max. But uh, if we were to take it out, power would be coming out of there. Um, now these need power, but this guy needs power. So there's one there. But anyway, you get the picture. I'm not going to go and go crazy with swapping these out right now. Um, just as we find them, I will. Uh, and this is our resist. This is our boiler heater. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to go crazy with trying to find where all these things are. This is all back stuffed anyway, so we are pretty decent on all this. Um, but yeah, we can start putting these things away. Uh, any other obvious ones? Probably. I don't know. That shouldn't take any power. Probably this guy. Yeah, there's one down there powering those. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go crazy trying to find them. We'll find them as we go and be able to swap out. But we could get rid of this, all this mess too. Like instead of having to have all of this run over here, we could just have a flux point here, flux point here. It gets rid of all this extra cabling that we have. Same thing in here, though. Yeah, there's power on down there. Yeah, you get the gist of it. But the advantage is, is that there's no, as you can see, there's no limit to the power based on the fact that we have 27 million RF in here. Since we're here, let's check out our Wither Skulls, 146. That's pretty darn good. And our Nether Stars, 145. So yeah, we are good to go. Wither Skeleton Skulls, Nether Stars. And that opens up a lot of stuff that we uh, have been wanting to work on. So what I'm going to do is upgrade all of these. So I'm just going to tell the system to craft nitro crystals. And it says that, well, the quest wants us to make so many. Um, oh, what am I looking for? Power. You want me to make 64 nitro capacitors. So if I go to nitro capacitors and I say, hey, 64 of those. It's going to craft up. It's going to use all the stuff. It's going to take forever. I'll just let this sit and passively run until it gets to that point, and then we'll be able to upgrade all these things and do all the stuff. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really does help the channel, and I do appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.